All right, my name is Ray Parkinson. This is Siplock Systems. Our website is www.siplocksystems.com. All my contact information is here. My name is Ray Parkinson. My direct number is 404-295-8822, and all of our emails are here and the websites. Please call or email with any questions. We'd love to talk to you. This is the metal face panel that we're using in the system now. It is a galvanized painted surface that can be left exposed. When it goes up in our design, it's horizontal and it flashes water immediately. It doesn't need any house wrap or anything. It can be re it's rated to be left exposed just the way it is. But you can stucco it, you can do hardy board or whatever kind of siding you're going to be doing. This just shows the strength of the panel. It's spanning about 16 to 18 feet here. It's very, very strong. In our design, you see here that the panel is trapped in wide flange I-beams. Our clip is right here. It structurally traps the face of the panel back under the web or into the flange, under the flange of the I-beam. So the panel is trapped between the flanges of the I-beam. It's incredibly, incredibly strong. Here you see a foundation being dug out and being ready for concrete. They poured the concrete, anchor bolts are in place and ready for the slab. We are unloading the panel, it comes very well wrapped. There's plywood under each bundle so you can pick it up with the forklift without damaging it. Very well done. Structural steel is coming, it's a small uh, load for a house such as this. You'll see the house in a minute and this is all the steel on one load. Here we are setting columns with a reach type forklift, it can be done with a boom or a crane or a reach forklift such as this. It uh, goes in very fast and very effectively. You see here the panel running horizontal. The clip is not installed at this point. Uh, if you see here the clip is, is forced into this cavity here and traps the face of the panel back under the flange of the I-beam. But you also see here how it's flashing. It's a tongue and groove design so water runs immediately off of this panel as soon as you put it up in a wall or a roof. Here's all the columns are set. Some are on the wall, some are at the basement level. And we're basically setting the panels in place with the forklift. Takes a little practice, but for one man, pretty effective and efficient. Here's the floor system going in. It bolts to the column. The large angle is bolted to the column and then a rim board uh, ledger for the top bearing open web truss that this fellow put in his floor. And here it is going in very quick and easy. This is the outside of the building at the, the wall stage. You can see that the rafters are not placed yet. Uh, all the red iron is insulated at a later time. We'll box these corners in with styrofoam and metal. And all the columns have a styrofoam facer to get rid of any thermal bridging and it's just a very clean, super, super energy efficient system. Uh, this particular home is R30 walls and R50 roof. So it's probably one of the most efficient homes built in Georgia. Here's the structural steel is done and the heavy gauge hips, which are brake metal, uh, are installed and then the, the rest of the hip roof is installed. Here again is our design with the clip to I-beam and panel trapped within the I-beam. See here there's six very large bolts on the outside. There's same six bolts on the inside. So there's 12 bolts holding each connection together. It's just extremely, extremely strong and very flexible. You can do wide spans. You can do uh, multi-story because we're taking all the load to the structural steel very smooth it all goes in as you see in this picture this is the brake metal hip forming the hip of the roof <clears throat> here again this is uh, all open there's no attic it's, it's a vaulted design so our conditioned envelope goes all the way to the roof and, and all the design here's the column being insulated from being a thermal bridge the clip is installed on the panel and the styrofoam is installed over the beam. Here's the, the roof and the system. 
just prior to putting a porch on and the roof and the the window story at the top um, it's just a, it's a very very well designed uh, panel system here's the final pictures here the decking and here's the final home um, the next one is in Long Island it's a three-story uh, narrow lot design all the floor loads are going to go to the structural columns and the walls are 27 feet tall with a full vaulted roof it's not a hip it's a gable but I'll have more pictures of it as soon as it comes up and we get it installed and this is the final of the Helen project on the Chattahoochee River again my contact info Ray Parkinson 404-295-8822 uh, look forward to hearing from you and thank you